Okay. Hi, hello, my name's Than, short for Nathaniel. Today is very exciting <laughs> because um, Tatcha has released, finally, um, their silk powder. So I cannot freaking wait to get into this. I love the silk canvas so much. Um, this primer actually convinced me that primers do something. <laughs> so <laughs> it's a really good primer. I do want to say the advertising on this is a little bit confusing because like even on this it says radiant translucent setting powder. I was watching Tatcha's Instagram stories and they were like, this is not a setting powder, this is a finishing powder. And I have seen reviews of some people already using this, not, not watching the full thing because I want to, you know, form my own opinion of course but they were using it with like a sponge and using it to like bake and stuff. And this is not the intended use for the powder, I believe, because everything I've seen so far about the advertising, they're like, you need to use only a tiny bit and don't pack it on and you're not gonna be happy <laughs> if you use too much. So I think that um, there could be clearer, clearer advertising on, on, this, on this product. Because I was thinking, I thought it was a setting powder. And then when I saw their story and it was like, it's a finishing powder, I was like, oh no. Because I think a lot of people are gonna have that confusion. I think it should say like silk finishing powder or something because yeah, it's, it's a little confusing. It says it, it says talc free translucent setting powder on the packaging. So I don't, I don't really know. I think that they should change that <laughs> like right now while it's still fresh. <laughs> Because, yeah, I just know that's gonna like make some people use it like use too much and think it's a bad product, which, you know, necessar won't necessarily be the case. So I have this new silk powder, of course, but I also have another powder that is a silk powder and it's the Manasi 7 silk powder. And whereas this says <laughs> it's a setting powder, but it's actually a finishing powder, this one says silk finish powder, but it's more of a setting powder. <laughs> so, I don't know, these brands need to like get it together on the marketing. <laughs> Cause, okay, so basically I haven't used this on my face, but I was just kind of feeling the texture on my hand and in my fingers and comparing it to this one from Manasi 7, this is matte for sure and a lot drier. It still has a smooth finish when you use it to set, but it is matte. This feels, really soft, really light, and it just kind of like, just, yeah, it, it seems like it's gonna be a really, really good finishing powder. I'm really excited, like, honestly. And it does have some micro glitters in there, or pearls, they're pearls. And so in um, the Manasi 7 powder, you only get nine grams and it has a 12 month shelf life, whereas this you get 20 grams and you, it has a six month shelf life, so yeah. But again, I feel like they're com two completely different products, but I just wanted to bring it up because I feel like, I don't know, maybe people have been interested in this powder too. So there we go. Okay, so I believe they're completely different. So I also got a little trial size of this, um, the Bite Beauty uh, Full Volume Upswing Mascara. And so I'm excited to try this new mascara. Okay, so I'm gonna be going in with the um, Givenchy uh, Tain Couture Everywhere Foundation because I am going to be reviewing um, their new launch, the Prisma Libra Glow. And so I want this fresh in my mind for when I do that video. So we're gonna take this out. Oh no, I forgot to prime. <laughs> oh no, no. Okay, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna prime with a Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas, of course. Primer sit for a second. Let's do some brows. Gucci brow pencil. Merit brow gel. Okay. I feel like my brows are a little weird today. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Sometimes they do this to me. Okay, so let's go in with this foundation now. Looks like this, and this is the shade P95. Mm. 
It does have a scent, just kind of typical florally, bougie scent. I remember this being like more of a satin finish foundation, not like too matte or too glowy. So I think it's a good in between for testing this powder today. My lips feel dry. I'm just gonna add some of the um, Kosas uh, wet lip oil. I love this. This is the shade Jellyfish. I love it. Mm. My eyelids are so dry. So this is looking okay, the foundation. Um, it's a little weird over some textured dry patches I have right now on my cheeks, but it looks good on my forehead and my lips. So overall, it's all right. Concealer. I'm gonna switch it up and use the Tarte Sheep Tape. Haven't used this one in a while. So I've been blending my concealer a different way, kind of. Um, just been waiting to blend it really close to my uh, lash line and first blending out the edges like along here. You know, like the outside kind of working outside in. I just think it, in the end leads to a smoother blend on the side, you know, between your concealer and the foundation on your cheeks. And that way the majority of the product goes over here rather than all clumped up in the middle. Okay, my nose looks a little dry and weird today. God, I feel like I, every video I'm like, this part's dry, this part's dry, this part's dry. I need to, gosh, I don't know. I try, I try to fix it, but. Okay, so let's set. So again, <laughs> I'm not gonna use this to set because they don't recommend it. And they also say don't use a sponge with this. This is meant to be used like with a big fluffy brush or like with a buffing brush like this. So I'm gonna try it both with um, this fluffy Kabuki, the Beautylish um, Hachiko brush. And I'm also gonna try it with um, the face one from Sonia G, more of a buffing a flat top brush. I'm gonna set with um, the Dior powder. Peri Peri contour. Blush. I'm gonna use the Vive Sunset Blush in um, Cherub. This is the T5 from Chickahoda. Actually, I'm gonna switch to, I'm switching to this Koyudo brush. I feel like this is just really good for buffing and blush. I think it's the, it's from the um, Yashiki series, I believe. I believe. <laughs> Take some of the Gucci bronzer and this um, Chikahoto Z8. Z8. <laughs> oh. I miss the smell of this. I haven't used this Gucci bronzer in a, in a little bit, so. Mmm. Yummy. Okay, so now let's get into this silk powder. You open it up. I can't really like show you all the way because I was swatching the powder earlier, so I got kind of got a lot <laughs> in the well, but basically, so there's this little well like this, and the powder comes out of this central ring here, this little Tatcha logo nipple <laughs> in, the, in the center. Um, so you can see it looks pretty yellow here, hold on. So it looks a little yellow um, at first glance, but again, you're not gonna be using this to set or bake or any of that. This is a finishing powder, <laughs> okay? If you pack it on like to bake or to set your under eyes, it's gonna look weird, it just is. It's gonna look heavy and weird. Instead, 
there's probably way too much in the well too. I'm just gonna tap some into this cap, into the cap so I don't use too much. And they put lots and lots of emphasis on not using too much. So that means it will look bad if you use too much, just saying. So I'm gonna go in with the first with this. I'm just swirling in the cap. Okay. And let's see. So with this softer, less dense brush, like this fluffy brush, um, it's not really, you know, buffing out stuff. It's just applying the powder. So it does give like a radiant finish. So that part is right. Is it blurring? I don't know. Let's try with the um, Sonia G Smooth Buffer. Let's try that. I think applying it with the fluffy brush, you still get the radiance and stuff, but I think when you really buff it in with a brush like this, which is like the best brush in the world, <laughs> um, you just get an overall more um, blended and smooth appearance, I believe. This side just doesn't look as um, as blended. It, I mean, it's, it still looks blended, but <laughs> it's just not as like, yeah, it's just like not as smooth. So I'm just gonna take a little bit more on this brush. I don't know, here, let's, let's zoom in. So what do you think? Overall, I think I like it so far. I'm gonna take the Worker 3 from Sony G and I'm gonna go into the shade from Nude, Nude Dip, Tom Ford Nude Dip. I'm gonna put this all over the lid. God, it's so pretty. Taking the Pencil Pro, same shade. to Sol de Ver. I'm taking the glittery shade, my favorite shade of life. Putting that all over the inner corner up to the brow. Okay, so let's try this Bite Upswing Mascara. <laughs> I'm so excited. This is like the cutest of all the trial size mascaras I have. Like from Ilya and Kosis. Um, this one is so cute, it's like chubby. Let's see, this also has a really fat wand. Okay, let's see, I'm excited and nervous. It feels really light on the lashes, but it has a big impact. God, this one lash will not stay up even with the upswing mascara. Not the mascara as well, this one lash is just on the end and it won't, um... Okay, well that one annoying lash is just gonna stay there. <laughs> oh my God, okay, okay. I also have... <laughs> I have one little lash here that is just like, like straight up. <laughs> my lashes, man, I don't know. I love this <laughs> mascara, it's just making me like feel good. It kind of, um, I don't know, it's crazy how light, well actually, let me see. I think it's just a tad lighter on the eyes <laughs> um, than the Ilia one, just a tad bit. Yeah, I like this mascara, obviously I'm gonna have to test it more, but um, huh, 
Okay. Yeah, my lashes are fucking weird today. <laughs> Again, this is like the mascara looks nice. It's uh, it's just my the shape. I don't know. They, I need to get a lash curler. I just need to do it. Okay, so what's next? Highlighter, Wayne Goss airbrush, and the highlighter from the mini sculpture palette. I think I'm just gonna leave my lips bare today. And so I'm gonna spray my face with the Round Around Green Tea Soothing Mist, and then I'll be right back. I just sprayed my face. For a finishing touch, I'm just gonna brighten my under eyes with the Pat McGrath under eye blurring powder. Okay, so let's zoom in and take a close look at the final result. final thoughts yeah I don't know I just I just felt like putting on my glasses <laughs> but okay so this powder I was looking really close up um, and I actually think it really gave a super smooth nice sheen like to my whole face where I looked before I put highlighter on <laughs> just saying um, and yeah I don't know I'm, I'm really excited about this it's it's kind of hard to test um, finishing powders because they're supposed to be like pretty much subtle like you know it's it's like supposed to be the last step hence finish and finishing powder <laughs> but yeah I don't know I'm gonna be using this in the next you know probably all my videos going forward so <laughs> you will get a more fully formed opinion um, and review as the um, videos go on. But first impression is I like it. And it's in a really nice package and you get a ton of product. The shelf life is a little concerning. I don't know if I can use all of this in six months, but hey, I will try. <laughs> this mascara is really good. I'm excited to keep trying this. I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna beat the Ilia one. They're pretty similar. I think this one looks slightly more natural on the bra uh, on the eyelashes, where this one is a little bit more dramatic, but um, they both feel really light on the lashes, and yeah, I, I like them both. They're just diff oh, slightly different, you know? Uh, this foundation, it's all right. I think this felt slightly drying on my skin, even though it's not a matte finish. But, oh my God. I'm so glowy, I'm so glowy, I love this powder, okay, okay. <laughs> Anyways, okay, is there anything else? Oh, uh, hard kombucha, definitely um, approved <laughs> by me, <laughs> so good. So um, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and ring the bell so you're notified every single time that I upload. Um, I upload three videos a week, typically. Um, this week, I'm gonna be reviewing the new Givenchy Foundation, and also um, some of the pieces from the MAC Black Cherry Collection, so that's exciting. I just wanna stress one more time that this is not a setting powder, and even though it says setting powder on it, like Tatcha themselves keep saying, <laughs> this is not a setting powder. So that's confusing, but hopefully this clears it up, and this is a finishing powder, okay. All right, thanks for watching, goodbye. <laughs>